Okay. So on the right-hand side, I just came over one column, and to start this drawing, came down four spaces just to get this point. And from that point, just projected this edge, and it's going to be three spaces. So hopefully when you see this, you can start to see how it's illustrating itself right as you're drawing this. It's pretty easy as you go through that. The center of this, and I'm just sketching this lightly, just kind of watch this. This is the center cube, or if I find the center, I can cross the diagonal, and that's the center point right there. That's the midsection, okay? And if I want this to go up uh, two, two squares, I just have to go out to the edge and see how this goes up two pieces, and it'll come right across to here. Like I said, it's an equal measured uh, segment. So from here, from the center up, it's just going to go up to this piece, right up into the midpoint. And once you have that, I'm just going to go ahead and take it across. So see if you can put this rectangular space on your page, and then just project this piece up. And again, it's going to be equal measured out. So when you take a look at this, one, two, three, I'm just going to put it up three, three spots and connect it from here. Now I'm just drawing this in freehand, but there you have the pyramid drawn in. So you've gone up from the center three spaces, so it's kind of in, in the middle of it, right there. And then to do the opposite, you're just going to go down the paper, right from the center, just go, it's a midpoint of this line, but you're just finding that section, and there's the point for this one. And it's equal measured right from that center line. Okay. Now again, I'm trying to get you to use the uh, straight edge to help you, so I'm going to just do this as a linear sketch, just so you can see it real quick. Lining up these points makes it very easy. start to look at it, you get, you're always going to get this illusion of it inverting itself and going both directions. And so now you have this inverted pyramid. And again, if you look at it, here's the center point. There's one, two, three spaces out to the top, three spaces to the bottom. And now it's just a, a matter. Now you have the linear drawing, and now you're going to shade this and use the line, but then lose the line. So right on this edge, that's where the dark value is going to be. This is going to be in the dark side underneath. There's four planes. So you're trying to shade this so it has a difference. Here's the vertical, just kind of blending that in. So right there, I've kind of lost all of the line from that lower left side. And again, just kind of heaving up this line just to give it the more contrast. And then using the pencil to shade up against it. And again, finding that edge and letting it go from a dark value to a gradient, getting just a little bit lighter. And here's the vertical. So the most contrast is going to happen right on the edges of these shapes. Okay. If I go to the one right next to it, do the same thing. Just find that edge. This can be a little bit lighter overall. But again, as I shade this, I lose that line. goes from there. Now just taking a look at this vertical one. This one's going to be the lightest of all, th all three of them so far. And this can just fade away into a light. Here's the line trying to lose that edge. Okay. 
And now the last one is this side. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave the foreground, the part that's closest to be the lightest. And this line just gonna blend it in right from there. That's gonna be the darkest value on this side. <clears throat> kind of blend it in. And just let the light of the paper be that edge. So now you have four gradients. The first one you had three, and now you're building this up. And then once you get it, go back and just make this a little bit darker <clears throat> as it gradients through there, and that's going to push that edge forward. I'm just going to put a little piece of paper underneath my drawing so I don't smear it. And blend that one going up. Again, I can take the ruler, since this is all in a vertical line, I can just help shade that edge, because the most contrast comes right up at the top, where those two, two planes meet. This one's floating, so it doesn't have any cast shadow or surface to it. 